Welcome back, 25 Years of Doom, I'm Temin. And I'm Aces High. And Mag is still recovering, but, you know, he'll be with us shortly, I'm sure. Um, oh, well. Yeah. In the meantime, we're installing another WAD. I've run Talos in dot batch, which I'm sure is short for T- Talosian Incident Installer, which uh, yeah, I've installed it. I'm not quite sure what this sense. title picture is of. Looks like there's like an arch of plasma bolts, but that's about all I can read from that image. Um, yeah, that, that's about all I got. Uh, if there was supposed to be shooting at someone or something, I don't, I don't know. know. Uh-oh. The captain of our vessel seems to have uh, kicked the bucket. Um, Ooh. Geez. Uh, right. I like that map. He's... Yeah. So we're, we got to get off of the ship. We got to get off the ship. Hey, there's some nice quarters, I'm sure, in better times. You know, <laughs> be sleeping in those. But alas, uh, John... Doomed Space Marine uh, doesn't have time for that, I guess. Uh, for whatever the, reason, I thought you were about to say John St. John. I mean, because really, <laughs> I've got Duke Nukem on the my, on the brain looking at this because of the, the start to the second episode of 3D. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and here's our uh, cryostasis oh. friends. Ah. And everyone's oh. got a med pack just lying by their beds just in case. Just in case, mm-hmm. I'm yeah. sure uh, they're all. It, it'll all be fine for them. Hey, mm-hmm. here's first the armory. Point. Ah, good. All right, we're pretty well off. All right, we got a shotgun and we got a chain gun, so yeah, you know, a, we're we're good. Yeah. So far, our mission uh, is just to get off the ship and see what the heck's going on. Yes. So, how do we get off the ship? Got to take the lift down. All right, we've done it. There we go. Uh, so this is the Talosian Incident by the Black Star Coven, uh, which is a small team that includes members. I mostly remember John By, Ola Bjorling, whom we'll see in future map sets, and Malcolm Sailor, who we will also see in future maps. Um, this one got a... Uh, retroactive CAC award for uh, 97 for being a really atmospheric wad. It is a a particularly lonely feeling, which is neat. Uh, Just like, I don't know, you're just kind of stranded on this alien planet, and it's uh, it's good. It's got some good, like, atmospheric music, too. Mm. Oh, this is all uh, original music. Yeah, all pretty sure all original music. Pretty um, cool. Yeah, that's always I, fun when they do that. Yep. Also, how the heck did they did they do the the shuttle? Because like you were walking under it. I thought you couldn't do room over rooms in uh, the Doom Engine. <laughs> see, that's that's the trick they pulled. Um, oh. they, there was a, there there was a level exit before we exited the ship, so we're on a different map altogether. Oh well, he snuck it right by. Well, I mean, still, like, with the fact that we were, like, walking underneath the ship, too, I was still, like, unless they made it part of the skybox or something. Yeah, exactly. That's more what is, that's what I found pretty, uh, pretty cool, I gotta say. Like, it adds to the atmosphere, for sure, and it's great, but it's just, I'm not used to seeing something like that in Doom, uh, anything. Right. It's, yeah, just clever skybox tricks. They got a bunch of ceiling sectors descending from the sky in order to create, mm. like, a fake 3D effect. Cool. Yep. Uh, so, uh, this is the Talosian Incident. Full name, uh, let's see. Uh, the Talosian Incident, a Requiem for Doom. Uh, it's got the three <laughs> authors I mentioned. Uh, and it's also got a uh, fairly lengthy story. Uh, might as well get right into it, I suppose. Yeah, may as well. The Talosian Incident. A, requi- a Requiem for Doom. It was meant to be a routine scouting mission of a planet categorized by the UAC as inhospitable and uninhabited. As you went into orbit around the third planet of the Talosian system, uh, the computer console in front of you lit up. All the colors of the rainbow, warning lights strobing. 
Speak to me, the captain shouted over the deafening roar as the ship began to shudder violently. Plasma leak in engineering, you shout back. We need to shut down the reactor before it spreads. The pilot turned from his controls, called back to the captain. Orbital injection has not been completed. If we shut down the engines now, we'll go too low and burn up. Shrieks spluttered out of the comm link, the men in engineering trying to escape the radiation leak. The captain stared blankly out through the shielded window at the front of the ship. We've got no choice but to shut it down, he muttered. They're dying down there. No choice. We'll all die if we don't make orbit. You wait for your orders, fingers poised above the console. The order never comes. Another explosion rocks the ship, and debris shakes itself loose from the ceiling. A cascade of sparks showering down over the captain. With a final cry, he falls from his seat and collapses on the floor, body still convulsing from the shock as his heart stops. We've got to make that orbit, the pilot says, turning to face you. Eject the reactor core and we all die. Your finger hovers the eject button for a second, then withdraws. I'm not fighting that, forget that. Later, losers. <laughs> uh, you sit back and listen, helpless as the... Oh, I did it. Uh, helpless as the screams from engineering reach a crescendo, then fade to a dull electric hum. Nothing but the sounds of fire and the sparking discharge of your ship's power cells. The pilot grabs the controls, pulls the ship into the correct insertion orbit, struggling with the, con uh, the joystick as another explosion hits engineering. Into the upper atmosphere, view uh, viewport glowing red with heat. Regaining your senses, you close the blast cover over the window, check the power output of the reactor. We've got to land soon. The power loss is getting worse. We're going to lose the reactor's cooling system in maybe five minutes. The ship shudders as the pilot put... Oh, also, there's some secret BS to get the blue key. You gotta figure your way into this weird UFO thing and also know to pass through invisible walls. Or rather, right. fake walls. But uh, is it at the right place you need to find the fake wall, right? Yeah. That... Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Uh, it's Anyways. a questionable design choice, to say the least. I may or may not have spent like a good 30 minutes my first time around looking for the blue Trying key. Trying to figure that out, yeah. Yeah, but nonetheless, I found it. Uh, the ship shudders as the pilot pushes its nose further down, forces it into a steeper descent. Mountains and canyons race by beneath you, slowly coming closer. The shaking gets worse, wires coming loose from the ceiling and waving around in the air, sparking as they hit metal. The pilot suddenly sits bolt upright, his hair on end, the wire pushing thousands of volts through his console. As the wire separates itself from the metal, he falls back and lies smoldering on the floor. Grabbing the co-pilot joystick in front of you, you try to regain control of the ship as it plummets groundwards. Your life, and those of the other survivors and the team still in deep freeze in your med lab, all depend on you. The ship slows, drifts closer to a rock below as the land rises to meet you. There's a sudden jolt, a scraping noise as the ship hits a ridge. Then you are down. The landing claws grabbing the rock hard. The landing claws grabbing the hard rock beneath your ship. You shut down the reactor, lock the lower deck doors to contain the leak. Reaching the communication rig at the front of the cockpit, you try to send a distress call, but something is blocking your signal. The jamming signal is a regular artificial source. Some thing is alive out there. There's nothing for it. You'll just have to suit up and go out there and shut down whatever artifact is blocking your transmissions. Something tells you this planet isn't going to be as dead as the UAC told you. Dun dun dun. <laughs> of course the UAC got it wrong. Where would we be with, where would this uh, franchise be without UAC incompetence? Exactly. Um, gosh, so this map is a bit open-ended and a little convoluted. Um, there are like locked doors everywhere and I feel like most of them don't go anywhere important. Uh, that red one there is important. It's very hard to, uh, it's very easy to miss I guess rather. There's like yet uh, teleport to like this obscure area and then like it's at the end of the obscure area. Also, hi chain gunners. I would like that rocket launcher, but so I had kind of wondered when listening to the story 
if they were actually going to feature any zombies in this, just based off of the whole, oh, you know, it's a, you know, kind of a, a dead system. And I sat there yeah. going, oh, okay, so we'll just uh, see imps and barons and hell knights and everything else. We're not going to see any zombie men, any sergeants, or any chain gunners. Oh, well, <laughs> so much for that, I, huh? Hmm, I'm not sure how that fits in with the story now. Yeah. They're alien zombies. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the big thing, right? Because... Uh, the only casualties that we've had on our end uh, is like the captain. Right. Everyone the else is in and stasis. The pilot, and then everyone, right. yeah, they're all frozen. So, Maybe we're on Earth after all. Oh, very possible. Th this is so. <laughs> what if we were in deep freeze for like a thousand years and the ships just landed back on Earth? But I see that this is also a uh, a tricky map because of the fact that uh, you clearly died a time or two. Yeah, I did. Also, oh. you have to climb oh, this really go. tall, small wow. structure. It's a it's a bit strange, but you know, it's I feel like not as bad as getting the blue key. But it's definitely. Uh, not necessarily intuitive. No, de certainly not. <laughs> All right, and just oh, behind wow. this, yeah, oh. stack of barrels. You got the red key, and then uh, oh hey, this is an important room. Uh, now don't mind me while I wander the map for like half an hour trying to solve this. Uh, oh okay. So there. that. The red key door is where there's progress. Also, I just happened upon the secret uh, plasma gun. Uh, you have to press that pillar to open the way forward. I was stuck for a good while trying to figure that one out. Uh, oh, <laughs> I see. You just kind of have to keep interacting with uh, um, things that you normally don't use as triggers. Yeah, it's n not going to be our last brush with unintuitive... Uh, doom switches in 97 either. Uh, stay tuned for Eternal Doom, but hey, it's later. Well, I wasn't sure if you meant more, like, just within this wad itself. No, I don't think there's anything as egregious in the rest of this wad. Luckily. Oh, jeez, that's a long elevator. Yeah, just a bit. <laughs> that's, that's some end of episode 2 quake uh, <laughs> elevator nonsense. Right. Right, this is map for the church with appropriate church organ, I yep. suppose. <laughs> I was just thinking I'm just like, ah <laughs> mini organ. We don't there's an instrument we don't hear enough of. Right? Oh man. Alright, well, once I clear the imp cavern, I believe there's more cavern ahead. I really like this for the atmosphere. Yeah, it's, it's good. I like the cement stalagmite slash tight they got going on there. <laughs> Just gonna hang out on it for a second. Yep. Alright, that was fun. It's alien. Yeah. Alien design. See, I was gonna say that looked like a door, and it totally was. Hey. <laughs> oh, I guess the only kind of downside. It makes sense since we're in a cave, but it's really dark. Whoa! Actual zombies. Huh. Yep. Just plain John zombies. Alright. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's another thing. They don't... In some of the maps, they don't, like, uh, telegraph their locked doors. They're just regular looking doors. Oh. Yeah, there's no, oh. like, yellow trim. So you gotta, like, remember. Right. Which I remember by putting map markers. Thank you. All right, they finally changed the music up a little bit. I wasn't sure if, for a moment there, I wasn't <laughs> sure if he just like decided to just loop the the the, the one sequence of notes for like ever. <laughs> uh, no, in fact, the uh, the midis in uh, this water quite long. I feel like they all range from like at least six minutes to the longest being maybe like ten minutes. Wow. 
that is a very long track. Yeah. Um, I feel like that would take up a decent amount of memory. You'd think so, but like I think I feel like the largest midis in this are like 17 kilobytes. Oh wow. Yeah. Well, uh, then again, probably... I'm not. I don't really know too much about the actual space that uh, music files take up. Right. As far as I know, MIDI's just like, I don't know, a sequence of, like, you know, uh, instruments and pitches. Right. And then it just goes with, you know, whatever um, whatever architecture that your system has. Yeah, exactly. And then it just sends all the signals to it, and it's like, oh, okay, yep, I can play that. Yep. Oh man, here's the the Blood River, the underground Blood River. I can't. S- oh, okay. Well, I see a bridge. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit dark. Gotta <laughs> say. Uh, expect more dark caves in a future one. <laughs> Several future ones. <laughs> I don't know. There's there's a few that come to mind actually when uh, I think of dark caves. Oh, that's the end. Oh, oh. that was All the right. chapel, not the church. My bad. Interesting. It didn't seem much of a chapel. It didn't really seem like it. Well, this is a two-part level. This is the fort part one. Uh, <laughs> two parters. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's this this one's like a long sequence of doors and branching paths, and it's also like. It's like symmetrical on like the the y equals x axis which is weird it's diagonal symmetry hmm interesting um we'll see up to a point we'll see anyway. it when we see it yeah yeah uh we'll what's it, it when branches we get... enough yeah yeah it stops being symmetrical also slightly awkward to open this door but that's all right also going to take care of this other guard station just cuz i can Eliminate as many of these as you can. Yup. Alright. Mystery well, sure. It's got nothing. It's got health bonuses. Ah, uh, you know, that's that's good. A healing pawn of sorts. <laughs> of sorts. Heal, heals four points of damage. <laughs> I like the lighting in, like, the corners here. Yeah, um, definitely. As far as atmosphere goes, did really good. They did really good work. Yep. All right. Well, I found the secret archfile chamber. I guess. All right. We've killed a mad priest. I feel good Hooray. about that. <laughs> All right. Uh, I thought I saw a yellow key. I just turn around. Oh. I've what got no clue what, we... what those switches do. Well, Probably opens one of the many doors in this map, but who could say? So many doors to go through. Yep. Oh, just like um, just like a couple maps ago. Yeah. Whichever huh? one that one was called before we got into the chapel. Right. Um, Incidentally. Uh, we didn't have a chance to go through it, but good job on beating that Baron uh, with your fists. <laughs> <laughs> right, thank you. It's a, it's a classic pastime, Baron boxing. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Mm, I found a security station of some sort, it seems. Yeah, looks like you didn't pass the uh, the scan. Womp womp. I am too human. Yeah. These zombie aliens red have read my DNA. Yep. I'll be back. Aw, oh, jeez. Well, uh oh. Yeah, this whole area is a dead end. Yep. Imagine I traipsed my way back through several cor- <laughs> corridors of doors, door doors, if you will, to get and back. Now to go through more oh, doors. Keep this room in mind. I've killed Pinky <laughs> here in a green room, Pinky here in a green room. Just hold on to that for a little bit. <laughs> it's it's it's, it's a right. cute thing that's gonna happen. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I've hit a switch, and that doesn't seem to have solved my key problem. But what did it open? 
I'm not sure. I feel like I could get to this part uh, part of the map either way. Oh, okay. Uh, mm, it's like hard to say. They're all very nondescript switches. There's another one. Hmm. Well, it must go somewhere. All right. And so, in this case, okay. I think There's another some door. of these. I, I think some of these doors were locked, just not with a key. Like they did mm, some uh, right, dummy so they sector. Did have some, yeah, with the switches. Yeah, some. Yeah, exactly. Some dummy sector voodoo to make the doors "quote unquote" locked, and then you press the switch, and that unlocks them. I'm not Aha, quite sure there's how one that. Key. Yeah, I got it. Not entirely sure how that would work, but I'm sure I could rig something up if, you know, prompted to do that. Whoa. Uh oh. Uh, Another arch file. Yeah, had to slow down to take care of this guy. Whoa. Come on. He's done. All right. Just in time. And all I got was 20 shells. Uh oh. Uh oh. We've, uh. <laughs> we disturbed, um. <laughs> the Baron. The Baron. Had to get off the his throne Baron. to deal with you. Yep. Yep. Alright, well. Okay. Now we got all the keys. Yeah, surprisingly high tech room here. Uh, oh, yeah. Hey, I think this is the main computer, which I guess there's a main computer here, and we've got to destroy it. Ah, uh, yes. I guess it must be uh, corrupting the the local populace or something like that. They yeah, think of it like a god. <laughs> this may or may not be the thing that we had to shut down in the story, which is weird because this is awfully early in the wad. Well, is this a, a full wad? It's mostly full. It's a 21 map wad, I want to say. Oh, okay. So it's not the full 32, but... Yeah, but it's Ooh. a fair... You know, a decent Sweet. amount. Uh, mm -hmm. So this is the Fort Two, which we've uh, we got to play the same map but backwards. Ooh. Up to a point, anyhow. Uh, oh. There's 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 doors. So is that doors. how those uh, those triggers or the that that one room that you said be aware of is gonna yes. work? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> um. Yep. Uh. But yeah. Uh. We we. We don't quite make our way back out. We find a different way out, and that's how this is gonna go. Hey, those pinkies ah, I killed—they're nice. ghosts now. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's good. Nice. That's cool. Yep, I enjoyed it. All right, and uh, it's it's the same map but with more uh, nondescript switches at this point. I do not understand what the heck is going on with this with this music track. It's, it's got noise. It's like I don't know, like because there's, I'm pretty sure it's like the same track from the last level, but now it's like just got white noise playing over top of it, effectively. That, I feel like that's entirely possible, although the the, the midis are kind of similar. I mean, I say white noise, but it's not white noise. It's, you know, probably meant to, like, have that impression. Right. Because if it was, like, true white noise, I feel like most people would just, like, turn it off. <laughs> right. Yeah. It is not pleasant. I'm curious as to which, like, MIDI instrument they would have to use to create this effect, you know? Yeah, I was kind of wondering about that, too. Um, Similarly, almost kind of uh, feels like they would have used like uh, some kind of a percussion thing, like a, a ratchet or something. Right. Uh, or like, maybe it feels like it could be like the MIDI applause sound, but pitched weird. <laughs> <laughs> that's um, that's possible too. Yeah, I was I was gonna say I, I I can't help but wonder what this would sound like if you played with, like, the ad-lib sound card. Oh, God. <laughs> Using the, the OPL sound fonts instead. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, I can't imagine the effect would be quite the same at all. I have a feeling it would be, like, way lower and bassier, and it would just, like, have this really, like, odd rumble sound, and it would just be, like... for the whole right. time. Yeah. That would be that would actually 
Hmm. That would be pretty cool if it was like if it was more of like a, a rumble because then it's like oh god it seems like the floor <laughs> is shaking all the time. Right. Part that I sort of thing. Yeah. Right. Hey, I found a key. Stuff I missed part three. What does the Telosian incident soundtrack sound like with <laughs> OPL synth? <laughs> I don't know. That would actually. That, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'd be interested in hearing the differences. Yeah. Oh, well, we'll, we'll see when we get there. I've We've got like, I don't know, 60 something more videos till Stuff I Missed Part 3. <laughs> All right. Got time to figure it out. Um, also, there's still just more switches and junk. Hey, going into that fountain gets you a yellow key. Nice. All right, considering the, I, I mean, I know that's not how the, the track was composed, obviously, but with the progression of the level, it kind of feels like you solved a puzzle and it changed the track. <laughs> right, yeah, <laughs> kind of funny how that worked out. Oh! Wow, another one. Yeah, just uh, sneaking around. Woo! A double right. kill. Nice. Right. <clears throat> I'm not quite sure what's next. I've got to find a yellow key, but I don't know which that Whoa. is. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Trial opportunity just... for infighting, at least. Yep. Just hit scanner. Hit scanner ambush. It's uh, not the best place to be, but I made it. I feel like I should yeah. have just skipped these uh, mancubuses, but oh well. Too late. I'm already, I'm already doing it. May as well just finish them off. Oh yeah, fun fact. This is a. Oh, I beat the level. This is another um, a wad I had to re-record. Uh, oh. Yeah, I just entirely lost the footage. I don't know where it went, so oh. I had to re-record it all. This is what happens Dang. when you record all your footage in, you know, bulk. But oh well. Yeah, well that happens. Yep. Oh. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, oh, Thanks, Weapon oh, Switch. Oh, oh, oh. oh man. Uh, just just oh. the one. Not oh, terrible. That's, that's so unfortunate. Yeah. Oh, well. At least it was early. I got to keep mm -hmm. all my early weapons after that. Yep. That's right. Um, but yeah, next time, uh, more of that. So right. get ready for it. Yeah, then, see you then. Yep, the end.